Okay, guys, I'm extremely excited because I haven't had an opportunity to interview Shabni Mishma on my show yet. And it's been a long time and I can't believe I had to wait till the CSA Awards for her to win a deserved Women's Player of the Year Award for me to do it. Welcome to the show, Shabni. Thank you so much, appreciate it. First and foremost, I'm talking to the best bowler in the world, in my opinion. Um, how are you feeling after winning this award, first and foremost? So surreal, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm sad that it was my first time walking down yeah. the aisle for, for South Africa. And I'm also happy because of the way I went out, the way I played my cricket. Yeah. And I, I actually retired when I was on high and a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people retire either when they're injured yeah. or when things go bad. But I felt that the time was right for me to do it. And I'm, and, and I'm actually happy. I'm not disappointed that I, that I retired. I'm actually happy and I'm still enjoying myself. And I'm still going to enjoy lots more cricket, guys. Is there nothing that we can do to get you play a little longer? <laughs> I wish there was. I wish there was. There is actually something if you ask CSA to play me more. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll definitely come back. But other than that, you know what, honestly, like, kudos to, to CSA. They've been amazing towards me. Especially tonight, like, obviously getting the the, the biggest award yeah. of the evening. It's, it's, it's so surreal, like I mentioned to you. It's obviously another accolade to the, to the cabinet. I have had it before, but this one means much more to me. Like, I have to first of all thank you, not my family, my yeah. fans, my friends, Shish back home. Like, they've been my backbone throughout my, my whole career. It's never been easy with CSA. There was lots of sacrifice, hard work and tears. But I mean, I've overcome all of that and I'm just happy that, you know what? I retired on a high, so I'm happy. Determination, pace, uh, precision, consistency is, is some of the things that I'll say that you bring to the game it's not easy to replace someone like that I mean if, it, if you can give any advice to maybe CSA on how they can bring the next generation of youngsters through like the next Shabni Mishma um, what would you do, what would you advise them to do with regards to bringing more fast bowlers like you into the, into the system? I wish I could help them to be honest, I wish there was another me somewhere that I could just give them but unfortunately not. <laughs> I mean it's big shoes to fill, I'm not going to lie and I know a lot of people know that outside there as well. But I mean for CSA they've got a, a base now where they can still bring up young, young fast bowlers and I mean if you look at Australian cricket they have a loads of fast bowlers yeah. actually if someone falls out they can just replace them but I mean if you speak about Marizan Cup myself if you speak about Ayabonga Kaka Mar uh, Masabata class I mean it's, it's, it's big shoes to actually fully yeah. be think about it and I mean the way myself and Kapi has been opening the bowling and the way we actually play our game and just the feistiness that we yeah. just accommodate each other all the time and I mean I'm just I, d I don't know what CSA is going to do I'm not going to lie I don't even have words for them <laughs> So when you, when you can give advice to the next generation of youngsters coming through, I mean, we have a, a very good crop of players coming through the system. Um, are you excited about the, the future of South African cricket currently in the women's game? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I've seen lots of youngsters. I watched that 19 World Cup. There's lots of good good players that is there, but it's need CSA to actually nurture them, make sure they come out strong and tough like how I am. So hopefully we can do that and we can get a good bunch of players for the World Cup. Yeah. Now I'm feeling this Oscar vibes, Grammy vibes. <laughs> I have to ask you, who are you wearing today? <laughs> <laughs> um, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shabni, I want to ask you something about recovery because it's very important in your off time. I would like to know what, from a professional point of view what you guys do to recover and stay at the high level that you do because no matter how much time you take off, when you come back, you, you fire again. So, what sort of um, tips can you give about the recovery and with regards to being a professional sports person? Yeah, so for me it's pretty simple, you know, I'm not going to lie, like I'm mentally a strong person, so what I want, the goals that I set for myself, I go out there and I try and do it to, as, to the best that I can. And obviously in terms of um, being a professional outfit and in terms of obviously managing your body, it's your duty to manage your body, obviously on and off the field as a professional outfit, what you do off the field, it will come back and it will get you once you get onto the field. So I just obviously have matured myself in that sense where I know what to do on and off the field. I know when to manage my body, when to have fun, when not to have fun. So I know obviously if it's a big game or if it's any game that I take as a World Cup final, I know that I need to manage my body. And But obviously in terms of managing your body, you know it's ice parts, you need to eat properly, nutrition's a big thing. Obviously, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of nutrition, <laughs> but I try to do it as best as I can. But yeah, just obviously for the youngsters out there, I mean, there is a future in CSA cricket and I know it's only starting to actually come up now. So for the youngsters out there, there is a career in cricket. There is a career in CSA, um, in CSA cricket, obviously. So yeah, just go out there, enjoy yourself. Shabnim, on behalf of Cricket Fanatics magazine and all the fans out there, thank you for everything that you've done for this country as a player, as a person in the dressing room, as a role model for so many people out there. Good luck for the rest of your career and I hope we can still watch you play for a very long time though, even if though it's not in, in protest colours. Thank you so much and thank you for having me. Yeah,